Colour theory sometimes can feel a little bit intimidating to people because there's a lot to it, but we're going to keep it pretty simple today and I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about colour theory and show you some colour mixing to give you a bit more confidence and get you on the right road. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got white. Now, there's a lovely little video going around that Windsor and Newton have about the different whites. The different whites will do different things. This one that I use here is called titanium white and it's very dense and will cover over uh, other colors quite well. It's also quite good for mixing. Um, there's Maggie, uh, she can get the door. So um, the next one that I have here, I have a couple of sneaky extras, okay? One of them is Naples yellow and one of them is yellow ochre. These you do not need, okay? They are ones that I just find quite useful. So I have them on my palette. But Naples Yellow is actually a mix of uh, a yellow ochre and white. So, you know, you really don't need that. And this is just like a warm, light brown, so you can mix that. So here's the juice, right? Here's the important stuff here. We've got our white. We've got a warm and a cool yellow. The yellow is lemon yellow. And the warm is a cad yellow pale, which, you know, is, I always think a bit disingenuous because it's not very pale. Um, but, or the other name, pretty much the same color is, um, is chrome yellow. And then we have reds, okay? So we have the warm red and we have the cool red. If you think about it, this red has quite a lot of purple in it, which makes it cool. It's going towards blue. This one has more yellow in it. It's going towards warm. So this is our warm red and this is our cool red. And this is alizarin crimson and this is cad red. Now these are our two blues here. And again, people often have trouble with this because you know they both look cool because our eye tells us you know blue is cool. So this blue is the warmer of the two. Think of it as going towards purple, purple going towards red. So it has more red in it, which is making it more purple. And this one has more yellow on it. It's making it cooler, it's making it brighter and it's the cooler of the two. So this is alizarin crimson, and this is um, uh, ultramarine. Okay, French ultramarine. Now, I call these my two blacks. This is actually burnt umber, which is a brown. Um, I call this my warm black, and I call this my cool black. And my cool black, I make myself, and I'm gonna show you how to make that color.